So there was a lot going on out of public view during the last election, a lot. Here's the latest example. The group Judicial Watch has just obtained hundreds of documents from the Secretary of State of California, our biggest state. Those documents reveal that state officials pressured the social media companies, the big ones, Google, Twitter, Facebook, to censor social media posts they didn't like and that wouldn't help them about the 2020 election. Here's one example. A state agency successfully pressured YouTube, owned by Google, to block a video about mail-in voting. They didn't think it would help the Democratic Party, so the video was blocked. Some of the state's documents were compiled by the firm SKDK. Its top client, Joe Biden. Sagar and Jetty is the host of Rising. We're happy to have him on tonight. Sagar, thanks so much for coming. I don't think you could be a fervent Biden voter and still think that maybe this looks like the end of democracy. Or am I overstating it? No, you're not, Tucker. The most basic American principle is to distrust the government. YouTube, Google, Twitter, many of these Silicon Valley companies were built on the bedrock principle of free speech. But this is a censorship regime which you would much more see in China. I mean, if you let's really think about it. The Chinese Communist Party runs the Chinese government, which set, creates the censors, which are then dispersed to the Chinese tech companies who decide that Oceania has always been at war with East Asia, and that or Eurasia, I believe. And that is something that they have come to live with there in China. This is something, a one-party state like California in particular, where the intertwinement of party with the government, with the large tech companies who are then listening and complying with some of these regulations. Let's think about it. We have a previous guest, Brett Hume, he brought this up, which is that Dr. Fauci back in February was saying that masks don't work. So does that mean that YouTube back in February, where I do host a show as well, should have been taking down videos in which I and some other people right. were expressing skepticism? around this. That would technically be in violation of government practice. And now they're doing the opposite. This is just goes to show how dystopian this can get very quickly. Well, sure. I mean, Google apparently is suppressing photographs of the governor of Virginia in blackface, which tells you a lot. So if you have the most powerful companies in the world working stealthily, secretly to help a specific political party, then where does that leave everyone else? Yeah, well, where are you going to go? Are you going to create your own Google? I mean, they already have, what, 90-something percent of search traffic. I think the most bedrock principle is this, which is that when you begin to see intertwinement of a political party, of state yeah. enforcement, and then along with the so-called private companies, you live in an oligarchy, or and you live right. eventually in a dictatorship. And the only way that they can have dissent is that they have to crush it. We have two options. We're America. Liberty is in our blood. Liberty is largely what we should strive for. And the other option is a police state. And unfortunately, that's where we're beginning to see. As you're talking, I'm thinking to myself, I hope a lot of people are hearing him as he speaks. Sagar and Jetty, I hope your audience gets bigger and bigger. Thanks for coming on. Tonight. Thank you, Tucker.